Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I, I actually learned something new. So um, it turns out that you can iron on to acrylic blanks. So you know how much I love to iron on to everything. Um, this makes it even more awesome. So if you can see on my board here, these are all adhesive vinyl. So, you know, you have to cut it out, weed it, and then you transfer it over with a transfer sheet. Um, this one is um, done with HTV. What's cool about HTV is, um, especially if you do HTV onto paper, you'll notice that HTV stands out so much more than your regular adhesive. Uh, if you compare glitter, um, adhesive gl glitter compared to HTV glitter, the HTV glitter is, it just pops more. It is more vibrant. Um, the color, it just pops out way more. So I love this idea. Um, so I just tried it on one. I'm going to show you the others to do, um, right now. I'm going to do two more for you. Um, I have my mini. I love this mini press. I use it a ton. It's great for small projects or for just like fixing little mistakes. I have it out on my desk pretty much almost all week. I use it very, very, very often. So um, in case you, I always thought it was going to be a frivolous buy, but it actually was not. So the other thing I want to show you is these are acrylic blanks on Amazon. This is two inches. I gotta say that I think I'm gonna look for a little bit bigger. Two inches is a little bit small for me to do all the designs that I like. I feel like I'm really limited on what I can do because there's only so much space. So I, the next time I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna go for a larger size. But look at what it comes with. It comes with this cute little thing. Honestly, on the picture, I didn't think I was gonna like this, but this is mine. So my daughter is, um, she plays, she's on the hot shot tennis, <laughs> tennis group. And then I take lessons with the same coach. So he calls it the hot shot mommy group. So anyway, I didn't think I was going to like it, but it's pretty stinking cute. These little tassels. So it comes with the acrylic blank, a tassel and a keychain, And it was, I want to say $12 for 30 of them, 30 sets. So I don't know where else you can buy it for cheaper than that. So it's on my Amazon shop. I will link it here, but it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter and it's on there. So it comes with all of these. Um, all right. So first thing is when you do this, I like to, um, I like to do it one layer at a time. Um, because what ends up happening is if you do multiple layers, you need to make sure that all of your HTV is touching the acrylic. What tends to happen with me is when I layer, I pay attention to it, but there's always one little piece of HTV that is laying on top of another transfer sheet. So you know what sucks about that is the time that you thought you were saving, you now need to go recut that piece and then iron it on. So it stinks. Anyway, look at, I mean, and I love HTV just because it weeds so much more easily, I feel like, because like this is pretty tiny. All right, so that's hot. Let me see if I can find shot. So while I'm doing this, I want to talk to you about something else. So, you know, I love doing those gigantic wedding acrylic signs. They're about uh, 20 inches by 30 inches. I did a lot of them. Um, for graduation parties as well, and just any kind of party. It's just so elegant and so pretty. And I did one for my daughter's graduation that ended up not happening because of the whole quarantine. But um, anyway, I have it, so I'm gonna show you. So if it terrifies you to do something really large and make sure that you don't have any bubbles when you're transferring it, although I do have the foolproof way, so you should watch that video. But even after, if you decide that you don't like it or you're too scared to try, you can iron on and then you'd have no bubbles. I mean, I just, this is just amazing to me. <laughs> okay, so with the acrylic blank, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little hole up here for the, obviously for the keychain. So I love having this Cricut mat it is always out on my island. So it is 36 by 24. So it's huge. Um, like I said, I always have it out. And so I'm going to line this up in the corner just so that the word mommy 
doesn't have to be straight, but I think I want the hot shot to be straight or kind of straight or parallel with each other. How about that? All right, so I'm gonna put this down. I love my Teflon sheet. This is also available on my Amazon shop. So I use it over and over and over. So I'm just gonna do this because I was just worried about, I don't know how the glass, the acrylic is gonna feel with the heat. So we wanna just, you saw that, that was only a couple seconds. I wanna be able to activate enough of it for it to stick down. And the nice thing about Glitter HTV is that it is kind of thick enough. So like this M hasn't stuck down, everything else came up. But I'm just gonna put my fingertips or fingernails on that and get that down and that's good. So the word mommy is on here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but when we paint it, you'll see it better. All right, so I'm gonna line it up right here. I'm gonna put down the word hot. And put shot down here. And you wanna avoid the edges because the edges is gonna catch on things. All right, so that's down. I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet on. I'm gonna put this on for like five seconds maybe, because this is real time obviously. All right, let's see if it's stuck. And oop, my T didn't. I'm gonna pull this T off. I'm gonna put it down. Okay. Nope, it didn't. So I'm gonna make sure this is lined up, okay. And I have it on two bars. Okay, let's see if I heated it up enough this time. Okay, so that's down. This is almost down, but it's enough for me to pull off. And then I hit it one more time with the heat. The nice thing about the transfer sheet, I feel like it keeps the heat from getting to the, um, onto the acrylic and getting it, you know, to activate. So I always like, as soon as I can take everything off, I do. And then I have it on the Teflon sheet and the Teflon sheet there, that's perfect. So you can read the hot shot really well. The mommy, you can't, right? So the mommy, I like to paint behind it. So I have my paintbrush. Here's my acrylic that I use. It's just from um, Michael's Craft Smart acrylic paint. So I'm gonna go in the back. And what I like to do is paint just enough around the green. I don't like going all the way to the edges and I kind of like the unfinished look. You also, what you wanna do when you're doing the acrylic paint is you wanna put enough on here because what happens is you can see all your brush strokes if you go too light. So. I would just paint it and then turn it around to see how you like it. And I like this look because you can't tell where your mistakes are. <laughs> so here is just enough of an outline for mommy. So it says Hot Shot Mommy and then I'm done. I like, I'm gonna do just a little bit more up on top. And because it's white glitter, the word Hot Shot, um, the white paint, even if you go into that space, it looks, it looks fine. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm gonna flip it over and let it dry. So that's all that there is to that. It is so easy. I absolutely love it. You saw that took like seconds. I'm gonna bring on my big graduation sign. So let me look how big that is, right? So you can kind of see if your word, I mean, this doesn't have any mistakes on it the vinyl laid down perfectly. So I do, like I said, I do have a foolproof method for it, but I understand that it makes people nervous to do this. But, um, oh, I see a little bump, but it's the lighting. Um, but anyway, if you don't like it like this, then you can now do um, iron on. And you know, this doesn't get a lot of wear and tear, so you don't need to add a lot of heat. You don't have to worry about ruining your materials because you just need to activate the glue for it to stick down. That's it. Alrighty. I know, easy peasy, right? Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, let me know what you think. Feedback here, comments, questions. And then if you have any special requests, please note them here as well. Um, if you have extra details to send to me though, you can always email me at anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys.